As luck would have it, we matched up against Western University, who had the number one defense in the country. The exact opposite type of team than the team we had just prepared for the day before. Another night of scouting and strategizing with the, uh, with the other coaches, and we found ourselves in the exact same position by the fourth quarter the next day. It was six to four with under a minute left to go in the game, but this time we were winning. And there was no way that this defensive team was going to be able to muster the offense to come back and beat us. And then somebody from our bench screamed and we got an unsportsmanlike comment from Somehow with the man advantage, Western managed to score two goals in the final 25 seconds of the game, sending us into overtime. We battled it out with Western with the game on the line until we finally got the ball back with 30 seconds left in the second overtime. We passed the ball to our star midfielder, G. Sean Sharples, who drove from behind the net, drew the double team, rolled, and scored the championship winning goal. As the, as the clock ticked to zero, everybody rushed out to the field and we hoisted the Begatoway Cup into the air. We're now part of a very elite few that can call themselves national champions. As I reflect back on this season, I can't help but thank the head coach, Tim Murdoch, for giving me the opportunity to coach, and who was the steadfast leader that the team needed. Sean Steinwall, the offensive mastermind that led us to victory. The trainers that kept our team healthy throughout the season. And of course, the players who put their heart and soul into this team. And even when the game was on the line, they never gave up. Those guys are going to remember this season for the rest of their lives. And they're going to go down in history as a 2012 Canadian National Lacrosse 